Hi, this video is going to show you how to log into RenWeb to check your grades. There's two ways to get to the RenWeb login page. First, you can just go to Rehoboth Christian School's homepage. I just Googled Rehoboth Christian School and then chose the first option that came up. Now, if you scroll all the way to the very bottom of the page, down here in the footer, you'll see four little social media icons. And the fourth one looks like a little hat, and that's the one you want. If you click on it, it'll take you to the login page. Now, seventh and eighth graders is an easier way for you. If you go to the distance learning website, on the home page, you'll notice that there's a check grades button. And if you click on that, it'll take you to the same place. So let me close out of these extra tabs here and let's go ahead and practice logging in. So there's a few things you need to put in. The first thing is the district code, and that's the same for everybody. It's capital R, capital E, dash, and that dash key is just to the right of the zero. Then N and M. And now your username, which is your full Rehoboth email address. I'll put in an example. Now, nine times out of 10, if you're having a hard time logging into RenWeb and it won't let you in, it's because you've typed the ending of your email address incorrectly. It's really easy to do. So if you're getting an error and it's saying email address not recognized, uh, just double check to make sure you haven't flipped your M and your N around, um, it should be NM, or maybe you accidentally wrote .com instead of .org. Double check that to make sure it is exactly right, because that's the most common error. And now your password. Today's Monday, August 31st, and in your email inbox, you'll have an email from Mr. Ippel. Today, he reset all 6th through 8th graders' passwords for RenWeb, and he sent everybody an email telling you what your new reset password is. So you'll have to go into your email, find that from him, and get that password. I'm going to type in the password for this account. You'll have to go into the email to get that. Next, I'm going to go ahead right down here and select student, and that's important that you do that as well. So let's double check we have all four of these things correct. RE-NM for district code, um, your first and last name at rcsnm.org for username, your password from your email, and then student is selected. It's all correct. Now I'm going to go ahead and click login. Now you notice at first it sort of looked like it wasn't going to go in. One of the boxes went blank and it was thinking a little bit. Don't worry if that happens, just give it a minute and it'll go into your RenWeb. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and you can see on the first page that you end up at, there's no grades. So over here in the left-hand panel, go down to student and click that. Once that loads, if you scroll down, you will see an area over here called classes and it will list all the classes that you're in and also the grade for each class. And now if you want to be able to zoom in and see a specific progress report for each individual class, you can click on the grade. So for civics, this student has a 50%. This student might be like, why do I have a 50%? I want to look at my assignments for this. Click on the grade and it will open up a progress report. And you can see here, here's the progress report. Um, this student is missing one assignment and it's nicely displayed in red, and so the student can see their grades. Now, when you're done with looking at your grades in RenWeb, you can come up here, click on the circle on the right-hand side, and click Log Out. And that is how to check grades in RenWeb. Thanks.